Another thing that I like to use is a grounding technique. It's something really simple that they can even use in the middle of class, and it's picking a shape and picking a number. So I might pick circles and five of them. So I'm going to look around the room and pick five circle shaped objects. And that just gives my brain about 15 seconds to think about something other than the big emotion that I was having. And um, it creates a little bit of a brain break and a stress reduction um, to help manage some of those really big emotions. And now thirdly, I want to talk about the end of the school day. Your kid may come home directly after school. They may come home after a club or an extracurricular activity like practice or a game. Um, and it's really important to communicate with your child. And so lots of parents I know will just say, how was your day? And they get fine or good. And then everybody goes on with their day. It's really important to ask specific specific questions because communication is key. So asking things like, what was the highest point of your day? What was the favorite thing that happened during the day? Um, and then asking also about the lows. So what's the worst thing that happened in your day? Did anything bad happen? Um, and then you could ask more specific questions after that, like, um, who did you play with at recess today? What did you talk to your friends about at lunch today? How was your teacher? How did you interact with your teacher? How was your work? Lots of different specific questions that kind of get your kid talking. And the more you talk to your kid after school, it gears their brain to think about their day. And then they'll come home prepared to have answers for you at the end of their day. So they may start off with, guess what happened to me at school today? And it could be a really great thing. Or they're coming to you as their trusted adult saying, hey, this thing happened today and it wasn't so great but I'm coming to you to talk to you about it. So then it just creates better relationships for everyone in the home. Again, my name is Megan O'Neill. I am the mental health counselor for New River Health. And during the school year, I am stationed at the clinic at Fayetteville Pre-K through eight. Wellness Watch, presented by New River Health.